I am back with the snoring dog. It is late at night and I thought that I would continue our series and give you a step-by-step guide to how to cast and just some general patterned ideas. I believe the next video will be on reading shapes and directions and things like that. But predominantly, 99% of this is up to your interpretation. I'd like you to meet my lovely co-hosts. We have this beautiful crystal here. <laughs> I feel like a game show host. We have this lovely guy. This one. And we have a tumble. All right. So when you are casting, again, think of your question. When you're starting out, make it simple. Nothing crazy like, when am I going to win the lottery? Or, when am I going to become a billionaire? Or, I get a lot of these questions. Um, when am I going to have all that I desire? Well, that can change from day to day, what you really desire. And so, I would start with something simple like, How do my finances look? When will I find love? How can I get my partner to communicate better or be more affectionate? How can I tap into my intuition? Simple questions, not so simple, I know, but simple questions enough. So, thinking of a simple question. And what I mean by simple is it's not like I want to know about my health. I want to know about my husband's health, I want to know about my kids' health, how they're doing in school. You only have so many crystals unless you're holding a, a ton of crystals in your hands. It, it just When you're starting out, just something simple. So I also want to say that when you cast... You usually cast in your non-dominant hand. This is what I've been taught and what I have been doing most of my life. I've been casting crystals for a bit. I met a cool lady when I was in my 20s that taught me everything I know. She's now passed on, so... What's up, Maureen? Anyway. So... You cast in your dom your non dominant hand. Whew. So if you're a lefty, you cast in your right hand. If you're a righty, you cast in your left hand. I'm a lefty, but I'm holding the camera in my right because I can see better out of that angle than my left. If I'm holding it my left, I'm usually way over on the other side. So I'm here. So or you can cast with both hands. You can have your hands closed and just dump the crystals. You can shake them like dice or roll them around your fingers. Oh, that one fell. You can just simply think of your question and dump them like that. But traditionally, the way to cast crystals are you hold, you think of your question. Oh, that was a big heavy cast, my gosh. Ooh. So, one, two, three, four. So that's going in a direction. So we'll, we'll talk about that here in a minute. But usually that's how you do it, is you just kind of dump them. Because that, you want them to make a pattern for you. You know. And so, we discussed a little bit in the last video about patterns. And the most popular are, there's, there's four or five that are really, I wouldn't say popular, they are, they show up the most, I would say. And that is these are all clear. You can't, or white. You can't even see them. Let me see. Oh my goodness. Of course, I chose all the clear crystals. The circle. 
there is, and the circle usually means that there is something that's important with time or that it's time sensitive. Let me get some other, well, here, it's, it's fine. We also have another popular one, which is the, let me get it going here. Uh, let me move this one over here. Here we go. This would be like that they're caged in. If there's a hole in the middle, they're caged in. It looks like a circle too, but it, it could be like pointed like um, this. And it could have, it could look like that there's a hole in the middle. There could be a crystal in the middle like so. Stating that they're, they're caged in, that they're feeling caged, that that you're feeling caged or that there's there's obstacles all around and there's no understanding of how to get out but if you notice there's actually a point over here there's a direction uh, another one is if you get can I do it can I do it I can do it if you get the pyramid this is the the loneliness um, lonely, loneliness or isolated cast where the person's feeling isolated or they feel like that there's, they're, they're, they can't get from point A to point B or they've, it's, by reading the crystals you'll find out why and how, but either they are at a certain point in their life that they are looking down upon what they've accomplished and it could be a positive thing or it could be an isolation thing. On occasion, you'll get, and I probably can't make it very well, but uh, sometimes you'll get like a heart. I can't do it very well with these crystals, but sometimes you'll get a heart for love. A lot of the times you'll get a directional one where it's like going in one direction. And that's giving guidance of that there is a direction heading that way. Uh, but a lot of the times you just get a mishmash of stuff. And then you have to kind of go through and pick up a crystal and go, okay, what do I feel? You know, and just kind of go through Another popular one, I keep saying popular like it's a new thing, but another one that, that shows up a lot for me with clients is this. This is way too far away. There we go. Okay. Three crystals or four crystals and one on the side. And what this usually means is these are the issues and this is the outcome. That happens a lot with certain spreads. I like to shake my crystals up a bit before I drop them. And I like to use both hands because I tend to have a lot of crystals that I use because my crystal readings last for about 30 minutes so I'm using about 20 crystals in my hands and my hands are not that large but anyway so I think the next so once you kind of find out your pattern then you're going to start reading into what each crystal means and I think we're going to kind of pause here well not pause but I'm going to stop here and the next video will be about how to read the shapes of the crystals. Not only getting information from them, but I like to use the shapes, the textures, how it makes me feel emotionally, as well as the messages that I'm getting. So I shall be right back with more. <laughs>